Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Taiwan Aerospace and Defense Technology Expo (TADTE) held from September 14 to 16 at the Taipei Nangang Exhibition Center, Hawan. I'm your host, Ula. After a four-year hiatus, the TADTE is back and presenting the present and future of the aerospace, defense, UAV, and space industries. What are we going to do? We'll show you this wonderful exhibition with so many wonderful booths and wonderful products in Taiwan. Even you cannot visit in person, you can still get to know the highlights of the exhibition through the video. Let's go! Okay, now we are here. This is Solid Ear's booth. Solid Ear was established with mode production at its core technology. Let's welcome Lin to introduce their products for us. Hello, Lin. Hello, everyone. Okay, now we are going to show you a very cool bulletproof vest. This is specially designed for a high-risk text for domestic, military and police, right? Yeah, sure. Uh, it's designed for high-risk missions. As you can see, there is a ball. You can just quick press it and you can remove this vest fast. And we also carry your neck, shoulder and crotch areas. And we also design it smallly system so you can add accessories based on variable demands oh okay and now um i see you're wearing this is a bulletproof vest for women so yes. this is designed for women yeah sure oh. as you can see this lightweight constable vest for women it can fit the female body and provide the front and back protections yeah. you can also insert different levels uh, inserts for the different missions so this is a very light than this one. Yeah, very light. Okay, the last one, the last vest we saw looks very suitable for formal occasion. So this is also a bulletproof vest? Yeah, sure. Oh. Uh, this is our latest design. It's designed for us businessmen and oh. special agents. And as you can see, it's easy. You can carry it easily care mm -hmm. and dry clean about. And also it's 100% wool. So you can easily care. And this bulletproof vest is also past the uh, NIJ standard level 3A, so our product is reliable. Okay, so if you have to uh, attend some formal occasions and need some protection, this is must uh, your very important choice. Yes, right? sure. Okay, thank you, Lin. Thank you for your introduction. Thank you. Here we are at iWave Technologies Booth, an innovative company established in 2020. And next to me is Mr. Mao Shaogang. Hello. Hello. And uh, Shaogang will introduce their products for us. So the first product is um, this one. It looks like a little big. So what it is for? Okay, we call it iShield. It's a product that can protect the airport, cannot be invaded by drone. We all know that uh, if the drone is invaded into the airport, all the activities should be shut down. So it will affect many clients' uh, activities. So by using this system, the airport can be protected uh, automatically and uh, function well. So moreover, it, this system cannot radiate any RF signals, so it cannot interfere the electronic equipment in the airport. And also, it can detect the position of the pilot so it's very helpful uh, and useful to uh, prevent the crime. And we also see another product is on our top. What is this? Okay, this is our second key technology in our company. It's named uh, iPosition. By using this technology, the drone can be uh, operated uh, automatically so that the strong drone operation uh, cannot be relied on the GPS signal. Only by using our wireless technology, it can operate well. So uh, it's very uh, useful for any uh, strong drone players. It can let the drone protect and also operate automatically and autonomously. So it's uh, very helpful and attractive for many autonomous vehicle applications. Okay, thanks for your introduction. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now we want to show you is the Taiwan Space Pavilion. You can see the light bars and the light boxes. It is like star-like, twinkling in the universe, showing a sense of modernity and technology. 
The design of Taiwan Space represents a concept of spaceship with innovation and satellite technology, leading Taiwan's industries to the future. Of course, there are many wonderful exhibits. I believe everyone will be very interested in TASA Launch Vehicle. It's a satellite carrier rocket that is designed and developed in Taiwan. And now let's welcome Vicky, the Deputy Director General of TASA. Vicky, can you briefly uh, introduce about the TASA Launch Vehicle? Oh? Yes, uh, please see over there. Uh, that's the TASA's uh, launch vehicle uh, to be developed. Uh, as you know, launch vehicle is a very key driver to space industry. Uh, we need to know uh, a lot of uh, key technology uh, so that we can uh, send the uh, satellite into the Earth's orbit in the near future. Yes. Uh, once the satellite is uh, sent to the uh, space orbit, uh, we can validate its function and uh, it will get uh, something like uh, called fly heritage. Uh, with heritage, uh, our local industry can use it to, to uh, get the uh, ticket uh, for supply chain of global market. And there's a big thing next month, right? In mid-July, the Triton satellite starts its journey from TASA and launch time will be on next month. So before it launches, we can know more about it. So what is its mission? This is our Triton satellite. It is known as a Winter Hun a Wind Hunter satellite too. Uh, it's about 250 uh, kilogram, and it will ascend to, to an altitude of uh, 600 uh, kilometer. The instrument of the Triton is GNSSR, a global navigation satellite system, a reflectometry. Uh, it measures reflected signal from the uh, water surface um, from the measurement, uh, we can use it to derive the uh, information of uh, sea wave and uh, uh, wind speed over the uh, ocean surface. And with those information, uh, people can use it to uh, derive, uh, put it into the uh, forecast system and to, uh, to make the uh, typhoon forecast uh, intensity and the path better. And now we can see another different satellite here. So uh, Vicky, what is this and what's the difference to Triton satellite? This is a B5G satellite, Beyond 5G. Uh, it is an uh, experimental project uh, we call Beyond 5G Low Earth Orbit Communication Satellite. The goal of this project is to establish a standard bus platform and to verify Taiwan's self a reliant uh, payload communication system and its ground communication equipment. And the long-term goal is to use it to uh, accelerate the development of a communication satellite constellation and uh, to have our uh, component uh, get into the uh, supply chain uh, globally. And of course, you can see another exhibit in Taiwan space. So thank you, Vicky. Thank, thank you, you for your introduction. Thank you. Through the exhibits from more than 40 enterprises, universities, and research institutes, Taiwan Space is showing the energy of Taiwan's low orbit satellites and ground equipment, highlighting the power of the space national team. And this year, TADTE has seven different themed pavilions. So now follow me, let's go! The main entrance to the Nangong Exhibition Hall 1 is the National Defense Pavilion, which is the theme pavilion with the largest exhibition booth area. Display the research and development results of the Armaments Bureau of the Ministry of National Defense and the National Chongshan Institute of Science and Technology. And this year highlights include the Albatross 2 and main aircraft and scout vehicle. This our first public appearance. In this pavilion, it is divided into five major exhibition zones, a manned aerial vehicles, joint operational equipment, dual-use military civilian technology and more. This zone showcases the government's commitment to promoting defense autonomy and achievements in military research and development. Taiwan Aerospace Industry Association, TAIA, is the main people's organization in the aerospace industry in Taiwan. 
The mission of the TAIA is to assist member manufacturers to win support from all walks of life in order to develop a good industrial environment. And TAIA providing a platform for its members to share insights with each other, as well as act as a communication bridge between members and government officials to create a complete supply chain that can connect to the rest of the world. At TADTE this year, they have 12 of Taiwan's top aerospace corporations presenting their latest parts, accessories, services, and full products. Now we can see many different types of drones here. We are at Space Chai, and you can see that one is cooperate with Turkey, and this one is cooperate with France. And in this pavilion, they have a lot of drones made in Taiwan. It's really cool. In order to promote the development of the UAV industry, Chai County government established the Asia UAV AI Innovation Application R&D Center, we call it Space Chai. The UAV industry cluster has 30 hectares of exclusive airspace, which can meet the needs of small and medium-sized commercial UAVs for research and testing. Space Chai has assembled 40 the combination of industry, official and university units, each showing their latest research and development achievements. According to statistics from the Ministry of Finance in 2022, BB guns with a muzzle energy of less than two joules produced in Taiwan account for more than 70% of the global market. In other words, 7 out of 10 toy guns are made in Taiwan. And TADTE cooperate with the Taiwan Airsoft and Air Gun Association for the first time to organize a toy gun industry area to display MIT's high quality toy guns. It will also lead visitors to further understand the trends in the toy gun industry and Taiwanese industry players. And Taiwan Airsoft and Air Gun Association is the top promotional platform for airsoft, providing a platform for the general public to understand this market, as well as bring awareness to civil defense. They have gathered 15 member corporations here to promote all aspects about airsoft and are open to anyone interested in partnering with them. A total of 10 nations, including Taiwan, at the event, aiding a significant international presence to a truly global event. And now here we are is the Czech Pavilion, feature 13 companies for aerospace and defense. The pavilion presents not only well-known Czech brands like Top Rock Trucks or Primoco drones, but also startups with cutting-edge UAV technologies. And the Czech Pavilion challenges how we think about travel from A to B, introducing new trends in the UAV industry. Czech companies can both globally acknowledge UAVs and excellent craftsmanship in crucial UAV parts production. The Czech Pavilion affairs companies with top-notch designing capabilities, innovative software solutions, world-class engineering skills, and uh, groundbreaking ideas that challenge the way we think about traveling. The United States remains deeply committed to engagement in Taiwan with civil aviation, aerospace and defense related technologies and services being key components of the collaboration. The USA Pavilion at uh, TADTE features a total of 40 American companies to showcase their products, including both well-known and established firms, and a robust number of small and medium enterprises and new-to-market companies. These companies are all actively seeking to expand their business relationships in Taiwan. Major American defense industry giants like Lockheed Martin and Radio are showcasing their expertise in national defense and missile technology. After TADTE's live tour, I believe everyone must have gained a lot, right? This exhibition has reached a historic high in terms of scale with domestic aerospace and defense factories. Several internationally renowned arms dealers have also made special trips to Taiwan for the exhibition, showing Taiwan's indispensable role in the global aerospace and defense industry. And this exhibition from September 14 to 16, so don't miss it. Welcome to this exhibition. We also look forward to the next TADTE. See you next time.